Now when you get to that chain two, just keep going with your single crochets and go to the next chain two and um, down beneath that and make your single crochets because what we're going to do now is we're going to make the strap. <coughs> okay, and I went down to the to the bottom of the shoe. And I'm going to go into that single crochet stitch right there at the bottom right there and I'm going to make a single crochet and I'm going to turn my work. Actually, I need to chain one and turn my work. Now because this was the right shoe and I'm making the left shoe, I, um, I ended up on the right hand side. Okay, um, and I'm going to 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 make the the strap that's going to come back around and fasten here. Okay, but if you were making the slipper and um, and you in here, you're going to go ahead and fasten off, and then pull up your um, your loop right here, and I'm going to show you how we do that. You would pull up your loop and tie it on, weave in your end, and so, but I'm going to single crochet back, uh, it's because now we're going to make the strap, and I'm going to, and it's only three crochets wide, so there's one, well, with the chain one, and then a single crochet, and then another single crochet, and then we're going to chain one, and we're going to turn it. <clears throat> and we're going to do that back, because we're making the strap. <clears throat> so that's one, two, and then we're going to get three single crochets in there. Three. Chain one, turn. And then so the chain one is now going to act as a single crochet. So just go into the second stitch and then the last stitch. Chain one and turn. <coughs> turn your work back around. Skip the first one because you have the chain one. Go into the the second stitch. Make your single crochet. And then the last one. Chain one and turn. Skip the first one. Go into the second one. And then you're going to do that. And it's going to measure. Let me get my measuring tape for. You might want to measure your your length, your leg, um, of what's comfortable for you. Where's my measuring tape? Um. I'm going to try to measure this, but that's probably, because I don't know how many rounds I did. So that measures, for me, that measures, oh, about 12 and a half inches that the strap went around my my ankle. So you're just going to keep making your strap until it measures about 12 and a half inches. Now what I wanted to show you too, this shoe fit. I had made, I had made this one first and this is my protocol, my sample. And you can actually just make a slipper that, that you just would walk in and doesn't have any straps okay and um, but when I finish the strap here it's because I want these to have straps and as I finish the strap I'm going to come back and show you how I reinforced and made the sole a little bit thicker and a little bit firmer on there and, and, um, and that's extra we, we you can do this on all your soles if you want um, or partly, I, I probably wouldn't wrap the end 
like I'm going to show you how we're going to do, but we're going to make this sole a little bit firmer when I get to that point. So go ahead and finish your straps, and I'll see you. Okay, now we're going to reinforce the sole, make it a little bit more sturdier. Okay, you're going to take about two yards of string, put it in a tapestry needle or a crochet needle. Maybe yours is better than mine. I used it a lot. Okay, and double that all the way to the end. And uh, get it pretty much even as you can. And, um, and what I do is I start um, with the needle right at the, um, the edge, whichever edge you want to start, that you can do a whip stitch. Now I'm going to pull that string not all the way through. I'm going to pull it. I want it to be a little bit more even with that. Instead of just evening that up, I'm going to cut this off. Okay, make that pretty even like that. And then, and then I'm going to use those ends against that. So I'm going to start it, put my needle back in, and, um, and make sure that I pull that through evenly, like that. And then I'm just going to go into the next stitch, like that. And then as I go around, those ends will be tucked under the whip stitch. And then when you see that, you're going to see it's kind of um, a reinforced type, type of stitch around the edge. And it'll actually make that heel a little bit more reinforced. And um, it's not required to put a slip grip on, this, on these with the silicone rubber. But it really makes them more durable. Now I left one of the edges out right here, so I'm going to try to get that in there. Just pull it down through there like that. And get your whip stitches pretty even. Okay, and then you're going to continue to to work around the sole of this this shoe doing this procedure over to the other edge and you're going to knot it off that means double the thread back through itself and um, and then when you get done doing that do not cut your thread now we get to the other side okay and you looped your stitches all the way around and you'll see that reinforces that a little bit more. Okay, now when you get to this side, okay, we're just gonna kind of weave that the threads in between the stitches like so. And um, till we get to that center stitch, to that center opening, see those little gappies there. Okay, and then we're gonna just kind of do the same thing. You're going to do a whip stitch and cover those up. Don't pull them too tight, but don't leave them too loose either. Okay, and you're going to cover those little gappies up. And then you're going to have a, a little um, <coughs> whip stitch down the center of this.